Okay, guys, listen up, please. Listen up. Now, there's a few new faces around, and uh, we're on our third hitting coach of the season. But I've just been speaking to the owner, and he has uh, well, he's told us we're now officially rebuilding. Uh, so as long as you guys aren't, uh, aren't stinking the place out, then you'll be here for the long term. No, Bruce, you can stay. You always smell like that. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to Season 5, Episode 7 here at the Colorado Rockies. And today we're going to get beaten, well, I would imagine, at uh, the LA Dodgers. But uh, before that, there is a lot to catch you up on because, well, things have happened. A lot of things have happened. Trade deadline has happened as one thing and we have been uh, a little bit busy. You can see here, now I've only just noticed this, Team Focus is now rebuilding. Um... Now I don't remember if that I don't remember that being the case earlier on this year. So I think the owner may have uh, changed his ambitions here. He is demanding, but he only expects a winning record and a power hitter. Now we'll come back to the power hitter in just a second. I've done my best, um, but you can see the winning record. We're almost there. We've won ten of seventeen since last episode. We'll have a look at all that in a second. Obviously, um, he is demanding, but he's happy right now, and we are close to that winning record, so it looks as though we might just about get away with this season, despite the fact that, uh, well, we've been quite disappointing, I think, in our own expectations, but um, yeah, that's where we're at. Now, we have got a new hitting coach, and this one looks as though he might uh, be going to do okay for us. Uh, Zach Mitchell, we signed him out of absolutely nowhere, but look at this batting average. He's only been here, yes, it's a short uh, sample size, nine games. We've won, uh, we've won, well, quite a few of them. We've won seven of the nine, and look at that batting average. Ridiculous. The ERA, that's not his fault, but <laughs> the batting average. Look at the batting average, guys. I'm really, really hopeful that we might have found someone here who's a contact hitter, um, and, well, we'll just keep our fingers crossed that he continues to, um, well... Let's hope he keeps this up anyway. Uh, now, there have been trades done since last episode, so let's go and have a look at those. So the first one was with the Twins. Now, we gave up Nick Griffin, a useful-ish, you would say, pitcher slash left fielder. Um, but I feel like he's not really, he's not really either. He's a, he's a, a probably above average, would you say, pitcher. Um, he's probably a below average outfield player. But what we got in return was Junior Severino. He is hopefully going to be our new second baseman. He is a very, very good, uh, well, not very, very good, but he's a quite good uh, defensive player. But this is my attempt to get us in a power hitter. Um, so hopefully that will come through. Hopefully the OSA ratings are closer than the uh, than our head scout because that would be a nice bat to have at second base, wouldn't it? Um, so we'll see how he goes. He has been in the lineup. It's a number six prospect. So I think we've done quite well to get him for what we gave up. Um, so fingers crossed that he comes out. Now, having him at second base, that meant we could get rid of Brendan Rodgers. He was on 12 million. Uh, he was not performing for us this year. He had been getting progressively worse. And thankfully, he's gone off to the to the Mariners and, um, well, pretty much done no better. So that makes me feel uh, that makes me feel good that we did manage to get rid of him. Now, what we got in, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. What we got out was uh, was, a, was a high salary, uh, but we got in Brandon Williamson. I'm not expecting anything from him—a fly ball, a fly ball pitcher even that doesn't have much movement. That's not going to work in uh, in Colorado. But my hope here is that he'll go into AAA. He'll play quite well, though he's not doing it so far. Uh, and then we can then use him to trade on for somebody else in the future, even if it's a pitcher of similar standard that's uh, sort of more suited to to playing in Colorado. So that's uh, that trade. And there's one more. And that was uh, getting rid of Peter Lambert. He's gone off to the Baltimore Orioles. He is a decent pitcher, to be honest, but we never in the majors got much out of him. If I go and have a look, actually, I might be better have a look here um, so you can see a bit better what he did for us. He had an ERA of over five. He had a whip that was a little bit too high. He did have a decent war. Um, he, was, he was decent. He just never quite... Filled me with confidence, to be honest. So he's gone off to Baltimore. I fully, I almost hope he does well, to be honest. But he was on five million, so we cleared up a bit of salary. And in return, we've got uh, Cole Kirsch. I really shouldn't have signed this guy, should I? This guy. Um, now I don't know if he's a closer, if he's a starting pitcher, if he's a bullpen pitcher. To be honest, I don't think he knows either. Um, but he's 23. He is uh, neutral. He's got a little bit more movement about him. He's someone I think that will be useful for us. He's not quite ready yet, obviously, but there is a decent pitcher in there. As I, let me know what you guys think. Is he a starter? Right now, he's there as a closer. If we set him as a starting pitcher, it's not quite as good, is he? But I don't know that he's a closer either. Um, what if we just had him as a reliever? 
that's probably more his role, isn't it? I don't think he's quite good enough to be a closer, but that's what he wants to be. So maybe we'll let him have that dream for now and we might crush it later. But uh, anyway, so that's who we got in. Again, it was just more getting rid of salary. So it's between Lambert and Rogers, we cleared up 17 odd million in salary. So that's, uh, that's obviously a good thing. So this brings us to the team home screen. Um, you can see we're not no longer bottom of the division. We are seven and a half games back of the of the wild card game. There's still a little bit of time. We're only early August, so about two months to go of the season. It's not insurmountable, but we just need to make sure we get that winning record to keep the owner happy, don't we? Uh, let's have a look and see how we've done it since last episode. And as I said, we won ten of seventeen. Now we lost. We were left off there, didn't we? After the All Star break. Um, we then uh, we then lost. Well, we end up getting swept in that series. To be honest, not great. Then we played the Reds. We lost game one. Uh, then we won the next two, which was obviously nice. We uh, lost one game here in uh, the opening game. Now, to be honest, in these two games, I completely forgot that we were playing in American League Park, so I didn't really set the lineup properly. Um, so we lost the first two in game. Uh, this game here, you can see we in the twelfth innings we got three and then gave up four, which, needless to say, makes me a very cranky Aussie villain. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't pleased with that. Two errors as well, which, so that was uh, not ideal. We can see Sergilio, uh, three for six, four, uh, four RBIs, two home runs. Um, Sergilio back to his very, very best. He won player of the week for one of these weeks in here as well. Um, then, can you tell where we hired the new hitting coach? Because then we started to go ballistic. We won the third game of the series, which was great. Um, this was a first career home run in here for our second baseman, Sir, uh, Sir Vinio. Um, he was playing designated hitter, so he got a first career home run in this one, which was uh, which was nice to see. Then we went and we went back to where well, we hosted Cincinnati. You can see, look at that. We were scoring runs for fun. Uh, three of three, we swept them. In game one here, we had uh, eight runs in the fourth, which was, uh, needless to say, quite good. And that featured, in that innings, a first career home run for backup pitcher, or bullpen pitcher, I should say, Jorge Alcala. So well done to him. Um, I wouldn't suspect he'll get many home runs in his career. It might even be the only one he gets. So um, it was nice to see. Well done, Jorge. Uh, then we went to game two of this series, and it was Sergilio added again. Now, it wasn't the best game for us overall, but Sergilio, four for five, seven RBIs. The record for the club was... Um, no, sorry, it was three home runs. Three home runs, four for five, seven RBIs. I'm selling him short there. Uh, seven, I think the record for the club is eight. I think it might be Baez that has it when he was with us. Um, so an excellent day out for uh, for Sergilio and almost single-handedly won us the game, which was good to see. Uh, then game three there, you can see we went and won as well. So a nice swept, swept series even. Then we played the Mets and we swept them as well, this time in a four-game series. Um... The only really thing to report here is in our 17 to 4 victory here, uh, there was a first career home run for Jones. Uh, where is he here? This is, of course, our, our bullpen pitcher who can also play first base. Um, so, yeah, good to see. He's not, I mean, he's not the worst hitter going around. Um, but, yeah, first career home run for him in Major League Baseball. If we just uh, go to only Major League, you can see there he has uh, since got another one. Um, so hopefully he's going to play well because I think he's starting today. I could be wrong on there, but I think he has to get the start today because of a fatigued, uh, fatigued player. Um, so let's have a look and see individually now how the players are getting on. The pitching staff, we want to see actually the pitching stats. Everything is generally staying about the same with the pitchers. The only thing is that Tommy Doyle has started to go backwards again. I did move him back to closer because he was improving his form, but it, it, it's not working for him this year. So um, we've done that. The one change that you may or may not notice, uh, we have brought Gavin Hollowell in. He was playing in AAA. He was doing quite well. So he's coming to the bullpen and the man to drop out was, uh, was Jones. This guy here, uh, Damon Jones, he's a bit of a disruptive influence. You can see he didn't get off to the best start. Seven innings uh, and he'd given up. How many earned runs? Ten earned runs. Um, so I thought if he's a disruptive influence, he's not playing well. We'll send him down to AAA uh, and let him try and find his feet there. So he's uh, he's dropped out. If we go and have a look at the lineups, the, uh, the actual lineups here, um, and we can see how everybody's getting on. Um, Batting is improving. It is improving. Tapia has come in for the injured Alcala. That's something I didn't tell you, isn't it? Alcala has picked up an injury. Um, so two to three months. Herniated uh, 
disc in his back. That is two to three months essentially season over for him because I don't think we're going to make the playoffs. So that's a shame, uh, but hopefully he'll come back come back well next season. Um, so Tappy has come in. He's only had a couple of games, but batting 600, we'll take that, won't we? Uh, but that, yeah, that's the only real change. You can see there's a few fires there going, which is nice. Um, yeah, and just generally speaking, everything is uh, is heading in the right direction, which is fantastic. Look at the expanded standings, um, and we can see them all there. Recent form is good, although we have lost two games to the Dodgers. Oh, I didn't really go through that, did I? I blocked that from memory. Um, you may or may not have noticed in the two-game series against the Dodgers so far, we're scoring runs, um, but we're letting a few in as well. So that's who we're playing today. It's game three of this series against the Dodgers. We're in LA. We're looking to avoid a sweep. Let's uh, let's check the lineups. And this is it. Bo Bichette leads us off at shortstop. It is Drew Bowser at third base, batting second. Jimmy Heron bats third in this one in center field. Sergilio cleans up in left field. It is Servinio. Sir... Sir Severino even, uh, playing second base for this one. He bats five. It is Spencer Jones coming in to play first base. A first look at him, I think, in the lineup. Um, he bats six. Otani in right field bats seven. It's Sergeant Jeffers on the uh, behind the plate, I should say. He bats eight. That's just fatigue players. That's why we're not seeing White and Vazquez in this one. It's De Jesus on the mound for us today. He has done okay as in back in the starting rotation. He was doing better in the bullpen, but it's just kind of the way the season's going. We need him in the rotation for now. We're up against Brent the Goose. Now, he is looking fatigued, which is fairly promising. So far this season, ERA of 433, a whipper for him of 122, an ERA plus of dead on 100, a war of 0.04. So his average isn't about average. Let's hope we looking make him look a little bit below average, perhaps. So here we go, welcome to Hollywood, and it's Bo Bichette to lead us off, batting 293 this season. Let me know what you think in the comments of the of the trades. Um, I know that you guys in the comments and also in the Discord, link to Discord as ever in the description, uh, were saying to trade Rogers, and yeah, I mean, we've done that now. Is Severino the man to play second base long term? Probably not, to be honest. We could move probably move Bo over to second. And uh, as Drew Bowser pops up, and that'll be two away for us. Uh, probably move... Uh, yeah, what's his face? I've gone blank. Bo. Move Bo over the second, and Tamar Johnson will probably come in and play. That's a nice hit there for Jimmy Heron. He gets himself a two-out single, and it's going to be Sergilio coming in now to see if he can keep this going for us. He's batting 310 this season now, Sergilio, um, but that's not going to get it done, and that'll end the top of the first for us. Um... Yeah, but I just think Severino, he's, he could be a good bat for us to, to have. De Jesus will face uh, their leadoff man. Let's see what he can do. Ground ball. Severino has not made a good first impression. Oh, come on, mate. That's silly, isn't it? He's second error at second base already. DJ Peters comes in, batting 222. He has got that towards center field. Heron out there makes a diving catch. And uh, the runner does get to second. But you've got to say, stunning bit of defensive play out there by Heron. De Jesus will face Ruiz now, a 3-1 pitch. That is going to get over. Now, can Sergilio stop the run from scoring? He can. But we have runners at the corners with one out. And that error by Severino is in danger of costing us here. Can we strike out Gavin Sheets? We cannot. Now, it's right, it's deep. I don't think we're going to stop the run there, are we? No, we're not. So it's a sack fly. The error has cost us a run in the first. Two away now, Corey Sager comes in, batting 313, and De Jesus sits him back down, but we have fallen behind. It's going to be Severino now to, uh, to lead us off. He owes us for the error. He's batting 277, and Severino has grounded that out, and that will be one away. It is a little bit of an experimental lineup. Spencer Jones comes in now. Now, he's batting 294 this season. He hasn't been terrible but has predominantly been used as a pinch hitter, and he strikes out there on three pitches, which isn't great, which brings Otani in, batting 228. I tried my very, very best to trade Otani, but there was just nothing doing for him. He pops it up into center field. That'll end the uh, top of the second for us. And we'll go and have another pitch. Jesse Vinkler comes up to lead them off, batting 351 this season. He grounds it to first base. Spencer Jones is there. That's one away. And it brings up Segura now, who's batting 291. He usually leads off for them, doesn't he? He's hit that into center field. Jimmy Heron for the second time today. He comes flying in, makes a stunning catch. Oh, he's injured. He shake, of course he can. Shake it off, Jimmy. Um, 
McKinstry now batting 262 this season. A 2 2 pitch on him. Two out, no one on. And that is popped up over to third base. Simple catch there for Bowser, and that will do it. Uh, Sergeant Jeffers to lead us off. Batting 256, and they have a new man on the mound, Ryan Sheriff. You could say there's a new sheriff in town. And uh, let's see if we can. Jeffers, is it going to drop in? It is not. And that is one away. In comes De Jesus to lead us off now. Batting 250 this year, not the worst. And that is going to be two away. And it's going to bring Bo Bichette up. 0 for 1 today. And let's see if he can clear a fence for us, Bo. Full count, two out, no one on. Come on, Bo. He has popped that up. And that'll do it for the top of the third. We're not, uh, not getting much going with the bat, are we? We've got a bit of YouTube stage fright, I think. Ryan Sheriff comes in the bat. He is yet to get a hit this season. And that's not going to change as he pops that up. And Drew Bowser's there, makes the play, and that is one out. Derek Hill now comes back up. He's 0 for 1 today. A 2-2 pitch. And that is a ground ball. And this time, Severino makes the play. Progress. That's like You like to see that from the youngsters, don't you? Well done. And it brings DJ Peters up now. He's 0 for 1. An 0-1 pitch. And DJ Peters has given them the lead. Well, they already had the lead. He's extended their lead. Ah. Uh... It was going so well, Diezus. What's happened there, mates? That's 2 nothing. Ruiz comes in. He's 1-for-1 one one today. A 1-1 one -one pitch. That is catchable for Sigilio, and that should end the innings. But we've fallen further behind. We've only given up two hits, but they've cost us two runs. Drew Bowser comes up. He is 0-for-1 today. A 1-2 pitch. Drew Bowser's hit that well. Drew Bowser off the wall. Not far off a home run at all. He slides into second for a leadoff double. And, well, let's see if we can uh, build on that now. Jimmy Herron, who got a hit first time around. It's a 2-1. Herron has popped that up. Not quite enough on it. Bowser goes for third, gets there. And with one away, Sergilio has a chance to drive in a run here for us. He is 0-for-1 today, of course. A 3-0 pitch. They walk him. That's going to bring up Severino, who still owes us for his error. Let's see if he can pay us back here. No, he cannot. That's two away as he watches strike three, which brings Spencer Jones up. A full count. Spencer Jones strikes out as well. And that ends the top of the fourth. Gavin Sheets to lead them off. He walked, I think, last time up, didn't he? Or was he the error? He might have been the error. No, he wasn't the error. It was the leadoff man that was the error. Anyway, it doesn't matter because Otani's caught him out there in right field. That's one away. Corey Sager comes in. He's 0 for 1. It's a 2-1 pitch on him. And that should be out. Bowser over to first, and Spencer Jones is there to make the play. It brings up Jesse Finkler. He's 0 for 1 as well. It's a 1 1 pitch, two out, no one on. And Otani should end the fourth. It's been a decent outing for De Jesus, hasn't it? But unfortunately, these fielders are letting him down, and these bats are letting him down as well. Otani, who's 0 for 1, comes in. Otani grounds at the first, and that'll be 1 away. In comes Sergeant Jeffers, who's 0 for 1. He's going to face a new man in Newbell. His ERA is 421 this season. It's a 1 2 pitch. Come on, Jeffers. No, he strikes out. And that'll bring De Jesus to the plate. Yes, it will. He's 0 for 1 today. A full count. De Jesus strikes out as well, and that'll end the top of the fifth. Segura to lead them off. De Jesus on the mound obviously still that is well hit but Bo has it over to Jones one away brings in McKinstry who's 0 for 1 now a 1-0 pitch and that is a ground ball Bowser over to first and that's two away I mean I'm gonna jinx it horribly but we're looking okay aren't we on the you know, out when we're uh, when we're fielding that's strike three Jeffers has missed it and can't get the out at first now is a uh, it's another error. Well, that's not technically an error. No, it doesn't cost us. De Jesus bounces back brilliantly with a strikeout, and that ends the fifth. All right, boys, let's have a bat. Top of the order, Bo Bichette. 0 for 2 today. He watches strike three. That is uh, out, and it's Santa Zella. Well, well, well. Formerly of our parish, of course. He's going to face Bowser, who is 1 for 2. And, uh, well, Santa Zella's ERA is 5.79, so nice to see that hasn't changed since <laughs> you went to Hollywood. But that's an out, and it brings up Jimmy Herron, who's one for two. He's going to face Zantazella now. It's a 1-1, and that is popped up, 
and that'll do it for the top of the sixth. And we just cannot get anything going, can we? De Jesus continues to Peters, who hit a home run last time up, of course. It's an 0-1 pitch. He's popped that up. Spencer Jones is there. He makes the play. That's one away. It's going to be De Jesus continuing to Ruiz, who is one for two. It's a 2-1 pitch. That's up the middle. It's popped up, though, and Heron is there. He's made much more difficult plays than that already today. That's two away for Gavin Sheets, who is 0 for 1. And he walks. A two-out walk. Sega comes to the plate. A 1-2 pitch. End it. He does. That's a wonderful pitch. And that ends the six. We're still 2 nothing down. It's such a shame we've been scoring runs for fun lately. And we just, the bats have gone quiet at the wrong time. So Giglio leads us off. Full count on him. He gets it into left field. And that will be a leadoff single. It does bring tying run to the plate. It's Servinio, who is, of course, still up to Owes for that error. First pitch. And he gets it into left field. So Giglio will probably have to stay at second. He will. But two on, no one out now for Mr. Spencer Jones. A new pitcher comes in, Gonsolinth, or whatever his name is. It's a shame. I thought uh, I thought Santosella was doing a decent job for them. And Spencer Jones gets it into right field. Is that going to score a run? Sergilio's coming home. Sergilio is going to get there. Spencer Jones with an RBI single. It's 2-1. Still no one out. Still runners at second and third. And can Otani make himself a hero now? 3-1 pitch. Otani walks to load the bases with no one out. How is Sef... I thought it said injured on the plate. He goes to third on the plate. That's okay. Sergeant Jeffers. Here's your chance, mate. Be a hero. 2-0. Loaded base. There's no one out. Sergeant Jeffers pops it up into center field or pops it into center field. That's going to be a two RBI single. Jeffers gives us the lead. It's 3-2 to the Rockies. Still no one out. Runners at first and second. Evan White comes in to pinch hit now. And Evan White has not been doing too well. A 2-2 pitch. Evan White gets it up the middle. Is that going to score another one? No, but it does reload the bases, still with no one out. This could be a mammoth innings for us. Ken Giles comes in to pitch for them now. He's going to face Bo, who's 0 for 3. It's a 1-0. Bo, he gets it into center field. Is that... Oh, no, it's a diving catch, and it does score a run, though. Otani comes in. It's 4-2. Drew Bowser comes in. One away, runners at second and third. A full count, Bowser watches strike three and that's two away and can Heron continue this innings for us an 0-1 Heron gets it into left field that's gonna score a run is it no it loads the bases for Sergilio oh Sergilio give us a slam mate give us a slam it's a 2-0 pitch Sergilio has he done it has he done it has he done it no oh it's out as well caught at the wall you don't get much closer than that, but it's 4-2 as we stretch. It's Gavin Hollowell coming in. It's his first pitch in Major League Baseball against the Dodgers, and we're 4-2 up. Come on, Gav. A 2-1. There it is. That's popped up. That's his first out. Well done, mate. Heron makes a simple catch. Segura comes in now. He is 0-2. Can Hollowell continue a decent outing here for our pitching staff? He can. Heron with another catch. McKinstry comes in. He's over two to face Gavin Hollowell. Can he get out of his first innings without giving anything up? He can. Well done. Bo, over to Jones. Excellent stuff, Hollowell. Excellent stuff. All right, we go to the eighth. It's Jones to face Severino. He is one for three. It's an 0-2 pitch. Don't like where this is headed. Oh, no. He's, well, he's got a piece of it. There's always a chance of an error, but it uh, doesn't happen. That's one away. Spencer Jones comes in to face Zuniga. Now, Spencer Jones delivered an RBI single last time up. It's a full count this time. One out, no one on. Spencer Jones strikes out. One away, two away, sorry. For Otani, who is 0 for 2. He drew a walk last time. A 1-0. Otani hits it well, hits it into right field. That'll be a two-out single. And it's going to be Mr. Ryan Jeffers now to try and keep it going. He had a two RBI single last time. A 1-2 pitch. And he gets it into left field. He does keep it going. And will we pinch hit now? Hollywell. You would imagine so, surely. We do. It's Christian Vazquez coming in. Batting 272 this season. Can the catcher do something for us? He cannot. He almost did, but he couldn't. And that is the end of the top of the eighth. Who comes in the pitch now? It is Tommy Doyle. He's going to face the pinch hitting Cody Bellinger, who is batting 300 this season. A 1-2 pitch. Come on, Tommy Doyle. I miss you being good, mate. You were my boy. 
Oh, he struck him out. Excellent stuff. Derek Hill comes in now. He's 0 for 3 to face Tommy Doyle. 3 0. Tommy Doyle gives up a walk. That, of course, brings tying run to the plate. It's DJ Peters already with one home run today. It's a first pitch swing. It's up the middle. And runner tries to get to third. Heron can't prevent it. Runners at the corners with one out. The winning run, or the go-ahead run, is now at the plate. It's Ruiz, who's one for three. A 2-2. There goes the runner. We get the strikeout, and we get the runner. Oh, Sergeant Jeffers behind the plate. Catches the thief, and that ends the eighth. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. All right, let's get some insurance runs here. Uh, Saldana comes in the pitch. He's going to face uh, Bo. 0 for 3, though he did have a sack fly last time up. 3-1 pitch, and Bo has grounded it out the third, and that ends a miserable day at the plate for him. In comes Drew Bowser. He's 1 for 4 today. A first pitch swing. Drew Bowser pops it up, and that will be 2 away. And it brings up Jimmy Heron, who has, he's probably been our man of the match, I'd say. Two for four, some stunning plays in center field, a 1-1. And Jimmy Heron has grounded it, and that will end the innings at the top of the ninth. And a game that we deserve to win. Can Junior Fernandez close it out for us? Gavin Sheets, who is 0-for-1, comes in. It's a full count. Let's not put that uh, tying run at the plate. Fernandez decides to keep it interesting. We are going to bring the tying run to the plate. It's a 404 foot home run over right center field. And Corey Sager now steps in. He is 0 for 3. It's a 1 2. Fernandez gets the strikeout. That's better, mate. That's better. Jesse Finkler now, who's 0 for 3. A first pitch swing. Come on, Junior. That's popped up. That should be caught. Severino's there. Two hands, mate. He makes the catch. Two away. They're down to their final out. It's John Segura. He's 0 for 3. It's Junior. For, it's a first pitch swing. It is popped up. It's staying in. Sergilio's there. And we have beaten the Dodgers in their own ballpark. Excellent stuff, boys. So there we go. A really good win. And like I said, I think the hero of that game is Jimmy Heron. Filling in in center field for us because of the injured out. Uh, Alcantara and I thought he did absolutely superb uh, of course he's in this season replacing David Dull and he's doing a decent job of it really really happy with how he's done for a first sort of full season in the in the lineup um, but that's uh, that is that quick update look at the standings we are still seven and a half games outside the wild card uh, we are now at 500 so that is uh, that's a nice milestone isn't it let's see if we can continue to build on that now and um you know, strong finish to the season. The playoffs might be out of reach, but if we can finish the season well, then at least, you know, we take something positive into next season. That'll do it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I think what we'll do is we'll come back, um, we'll come back for a game against LA, but we'll play the Angels, see if Otani can go back and haunt his former, former team. Um, and uh, yeah, then we'll kind of see how we're going from there. Now that, oh, I almost forgot to do it again. Okay, so the, um, the Player of the Year Award, the Golden All-Star, I want to turn that over to you guys. So what I want you to do is uh, to let me know, make some nominations. If you've watched the Football Manager series, you know how it works. Uh, in the comments, Discord, however you want to do it, nominate who you think has been our best player this season, pitcher or batter, um, and we'll get a list together. And next episode, we'll look to vote for who you, know, who you guys want to be your Player of the Year. Um, I'm interested to see who you choose, and that just helps you guys rather than just me picking everything. That's something that you guys, I think, uh, can do. So let me know in the comments who has been your best player or your favorite player for us this season, and we'll look, to, as I said, to get a nominations list together. Uh, but that's all for today, though, guys. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed that, as I said. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time as we go and face the Angels. Take care.